Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Dover Site to Race number eight of the Reebok Truck se Series season number six. And alongside me once again is Stephen Paul the third. Hello, guys. I'm still here. And I forgot to do that. Whoops. Great. Uh, one moment. Um, yeah. As on the poll today is Joshua Hyatt for the third time this season in the C Stevenson Marine Chevy. He'll star alongside one of the favorites in this one, Zach Flickinger. Brandon Yodel and Kurt Walker will make up row two with Toby McCoy and Brooke Walbridge in row three. Whoops, I mistook that for the... Okay. Uh, Kyle Walker and Jeff Jones in row four with J.J. Ferguson and Randy Kennedy in row five. Here's the rest of Star and Grid as I hand over to Steven for his thoughts and predictions. So no cup, boys. This is the time for the lower series to shine right here. All these rookie drivers will have the cup owners watching it. Trying to see what their talents are. Well, there's two things here. It's not my favorite to watch, but you can't uh, go wrong with Zach Flickinger. Fifth in a win. Yeah, it's going to be tough to beat him. I think his only competition is going to be higher today. Another truck I'm going to watch, and oh boy, is the 06 of uh, Foster Henderson because um, as we finally see our final row with Beverly Creed and uh, Ricky Freeman Jr., uh, so 06, they were the fastest to go go homer in the last two races. The fastest to go go homer is one, and that's a tough break for that car. How, we had two of them. Um, well, my sure. driver to watch uh, is Donovan Cage. His driver to watch is Foster Henderson. Let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines. Apparently, there were two mech failures while we were doing that intro. Great. Uh, another thing about Fo that truck finished second here with uh, Trevor Jermaine two seasons ago. So that truck might look like a crap, but it's not slow. Well, at least not here. Uh, he does have his Weiler Racing teammates starting in the row ahead of him in that 60 of Ryan Hill. We've only had one caution in the last two seasons here too, due to a engine failure, I believe, by the 40th oh, first move here. Well, well precedent's going to be a restart on this. Well, uh, that's a little airborne. Well, we'll be, we'll try that again. And take two. We're leaving in the whole uh, first part of that, but so we aren't going to have to do any through the field, but uh, Colin Zeno is the point sitter by 22 points over Zach Flickinger coming in. Um, Hyatt is 106 points back, and let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines! This is actually take three because also someone else was going to break, uh, had broken down before we even started the other one. So, great. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Yeah. We need to fix Charles's game. You need to make more cup races. <laughs> is that what it is? Is that what we're blaming yeah. it on? Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. that we will have for this one. Uh, Colin Zeno will have one of our onboards. That's the he make it Zach Flickinger will also carry an onboard, as will our other firm starter, Joshua Hyatt. Uh, Michael Van Houten will carry an onboard. Tyler Anderson will have a game the GameStop on board. Robert Young will have the Ford on board camera. That's six. Seb Kuplan will carry an on board, as will the 35 of Randy Candy. That is our Dodge on board camera. Pace truck is off, leaving field under control. The 67 and the 94 on the front row. And the DuPont 200 is green. Yeah, let's see how this start's going to go right here. Uh, let's see what 83 has missed the last two races. Not used to being up here, and they're going to help the 67. Let's see if the high line can work. Well, it's three Chevys lined up on that inside line. They're going for the race go. lead. Hyatt going to try and clear going off, but can't. And so here comes Kurt Walker. Wow, if that's amazing. Oh, Yodel. One. Oh, that's going to be a wreck. Yodel's up the hill. No. Well, oh, uh, three wide as well. I think there's at least one. Actually, there's about three different spots where there's three wide. Van Hooten was Van on the Hooten outside the of it. Yeah, Van Hooten might get turned. Nope. Nope. We're good. It's Heidi. Still good. Yep, Heidi Feynman, the 36 truck ahead of her teammate. Three rows of three again here coming yeah, off turn number God. four. Yeah, boy. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Nick Breeding up here for the first well, time this season. they can survive the early going, we might be good. There's Foster Henderson. We'll pick the watch right there. Watch it. 
Three straight weeks. And yes. top four are single file. It's Kurt Walker, Jeff Jones, Randy Kennedy wants that second spot, and here comes Toby McCoy as well. Robert, uh, Kurt, let me remind you, Kurt Walker is literally, I think, the third to last person of the points. Um, he comes in this one 42nd of 47 uh, <laughs> drivers right now who have made a race. We, we talk about the Cup Series. Look at this graph. Kurt Walker is leading. As Toby McCoy now kicked up to the high side. Here comes the Billy Baloo truck, Ravnik Cower. Oh. Diamond's up on the outside three wide. You know, we talk about, like, you know, experience and stuff matters. I am shocked with two top fives. Zach Flinginger is not leading this race right now. Holy crap. Well, he got, he remember, he had to start up on the outside line. Now he's gotten back to the bottom, making a move on James Shelley. That is for the 11th spot now. Yep, the 09 is in the uh, top 10. That's the best belly blue truck right now. Kiara Miles trying to get the fifth or fourth spot away from Shohei Otani. Opens the door for the Monster Energy Chevys. Here comes Donovan Cage and Toby McCoy. Yeah, the 09's best finish is 10th. And the, the 70 has, um, what's the 70? 70's on three straight top uh, 10 finishes. So they're trying to get another one. The good stretch races. But here comes that Randy Kennedy guy. As the SRT Motorsports Dodge uh, moves up to second. Dodge still looking for their first win on the year. And they've got second and fourth place with the factory team right here with Kennedy and Miles. Yeah, Randy uh, finished eighth last week, his best finish of the season. Now he's uh, oh, he's a little further up the road. Well, right now it's rookies one are running in the top six. The top veteran is Seb Kuklon right now in seventh. And Garrett Christian's got a mirror full of Zach Flickinger. It looks like they still got they got a speed in that truck or whatever today. As uh, James Shelley, who's ran, who actually was the inaugural pole sitter here, believe it or not. And with all these rookie drivers, I wouldn't think I'd say that. Here comes Seb Kukulon. As Kukulon gets underneath Cower, who got kicked up to the high side by Donovan Cage. Their Christian follows through as well, and Cage wants four spot away from the 70. Yeah, this race last year was uh, 40 laps, so 10 more laps longer than last year. So it's going to, eh, can we make it on fuel? Can we not? We'll see. Jeff Jones now looking for second again. There was Kyler Anderson making a move as Colin Zeno's been kicked up to the high side now. Yeah, it has been a while since the 80th the Chris Fontaine team has won. It's been since, no, that was the Fruity Pebble trucks. I don't even think the Chris Fontaine's team has uh, won. Alex Perkle, I think it was in a, no, that was a Red Bull 83, wasn't it? Yes. And the, 80, the 84 was a uh, Fruity Pebbles truck one year. That was when Sam Young won. Yep. Uh, as Jeff Jones now gets second spot back from the 35, but not here for long, because here comes Donovan Cage up to second. You know, uh, Charles picked Dylan to win last week, and if Donovan Cage wins, or he picks for Hooters, I'm going to Vegas betting right now. <laughs> Kiara Miles up to third. Seb Kuklon's going to get Ooh. the fourth. And Zach Flickens is going to push the 78 up into the top five for now before taking that spot away from the 78. Into if I'm Kurt right, Walker, I... Wait, what? I was going to say, never mind. He didn't quite get there. Yeah, well, if I'm Kurt Walker, I'm hearing dun-dun, dun-dun-dun-dun, as here comes the 94. Now Flickinger makes the move on the 78. Going to get that fifth spot away. Kyler Anderson trying to make moves up to the front. You know, it's kind of been a trend this season. We see uh, we didn't high it went back-to-back -back Atlanta races. Dylan Young won two Riverside, and now Zach Flickinger, his last one was at Dover, trying to become a two-time Dover winner. As Donovan Cage tried to use the outside comes. line to his advantage. Got him a little bit of breathing space over the 70 on the front stretch. And if Zach Flugger wins this race, we're going to need a new rating system again. Uh, no, it's going to work just fine because the the best he could do would be an 80-90. That's true. And that's only uh, if he ran the series for four straight seasons. Actually, five yeah, because he'd have, it'd have to be in the fifth season that he'd have the 80-90. Yeah, so um, here comes the... As 26. Kuklon's all over the 70 right now, trying to look for third spot here. And Donovan Cage has caught the 83. Yeah, not surprised. Uh, it's trying, just lost a little bit of ground right there, trying to gain back up. Colin Zeno up to eight from being in the back. That's impressive. Well, he was stuck up on the outside for a moment. Last we saw him, he was 12th, so now back up to eight. And actually has grabbed seventh spot away from Oreo Pollard. James Shelley's going to follow through, and maybe even Ravnik Cower when all is said and done. 
Yeah, the 04 doesn't add a top 10 this season. A little disappointing for Oreo so far. Uh, former truck winner, actually, back when he drove the 12, I think. Yeah, Rockingham, uh, believe it or not, as battle as here. Oh, God, new leader, leader. Donovan Cage up front. He got by Kurt Walker. Seb Kuklon's going to get by as well. Zach Flickinger looking to go up the middle for third. Yeah, that might not where you want to be, Zach. Oh, God. Yeah, that does where you want to be. Well, it worked for him. He got ahead of Miles still. As uh, now Kurt Walker goes from first back to fifth. Yeah, it's, uh, Zach Flickinger, he's trying to take the monster out of a date again. One last year, trying to get another one. As right now, Colin Zeno all over the back bumper now, the 79. I think, Zach Flickinger, I think Zach wishes we ran the Cup Series here. He might actually do something with his career. <laughs> As now, Donovan Cage has the the veterans starting to close in. Seb Kuklan, Zach Flickinger. Where the heck did Jerry, uh, not Jerry, um, uh, James, uh, James, well, Hyatt go. Uh, he's not even in the top 15, I don't even think. Uh, Joshua Hyatt has fallen back Whoa, to 39. 39. <laughs> well, um. And Lyle Austin, since being told he would be able to run this truck full time, has not made it look well. Job security has not been his friend. No, is there only, is somebody retired? No. It looks like they were all, all that, the 15. That was the battle uh, for 41st is what we saw. That's why. Oh, my God. Uh, As Hyatt Kyler definitely... Anderson's going to get to the inside of Kurt Walker. So the 83 falling total. farther back. Now he loses spots to James Shelley. Ravnick Cowher's going to get there. Here comes Oriel Pollard in the 04. Colin Zeno's yep. going to get by. Yeah, Walker's probably going to go join Hyatt probably. Randy Kennedy's going to get by as well. So now the 83's going to fall out of the top 10 after leading the first however many laps that we had. Yeah, he, yeah, it looks like he's just a lot of comers and goers. Uh, now here comes Logan Williams looking for better things than what he had last week in that Kentucky. Uh, yeah, blew the engine there. A lot of Toyota failures last week. They've got to go to California to figure those out. Uh, this is a Chevy. All right, that's fail number one. As there's Foster Henderson losing a spot to Brandon Yodel, who's going to take advantage and get the two for one special. Uh, yep, and he's going to be yodeling if he wins this race. And here's there's my pick, Mr. Foster Henderson. As stuck up on that outside line right now, here comes Nick Breeding in the 74. Can't quite make the move work. Oh, uh, and Oriel Pollard stuck up on the outside again. Yep, and the lead, oh, I got it. Uh, he's gone past by the three again, now gets passed by the 35. Throw a blanket under the top three right there. They are really close together. And James Shelley's going to get by Kyler Anderson, so the action fast and heavy here at Dover can't even keep up with it all. As Cowher gets by, Colin Zeno's going to get by. Yeah, actually the top three, I just noticed they, they were just the same intervals that last lap, so they are really running some competitive lap times. And here comes Randy Kennedy now, wanting the eighth spot away from the 79. As we see the tires falling off, almost getting to a second. Well, not really, oh, half a second. Half a second off right now. Oriel Pollard's going to get back to the inside line. He gets by Kyler Anderson for ninth. Colin Zeno now all over the back of Ravnik Cower. And it looks like Kukulon, yep, he is closing the gap here on the four. And he, yeah, I can see that Google on one already early this year at three unit after Robert Young choked. So trying to get a second win this year. And Donovan Cage trying to get the first win for KHI this season. Yeah, KHI has never won in the truck series. No, he won one race they last won, year with Dylan Young. won with the two. Yeah, they one haven't race. won with the 33 or now obviously the 4. This is the first season that the 4 has been a KHI truck. Yeah, two years with uh, Cole Deere will do that. As the 15 is now in the last. Oh, God. Hyatt has finally got into the inside line. He's back up. He's going for 40th now. But that 67, it had the pole setting speed, but it just has not had the race pace. Uh, not As here close. comes Kukulon looking for the lead. Yeah, Zeb's, oh, you gotta put the bumper, gotta give him that mystical uh, tap, whatever Charles called it last week. Uh, well, I mean, if someone actually moved them, I'd say they moved them. The, the other one where there was no contact, I said they spooked them. Yeah, so we're gonna try to spook him here. Is Zach Flickinger actually not gaining as much ground as I thought he would? No, he isn't. He's kind of just stuck in third. Problem is, he's not really in the draft, 
and he doesn't have anyone pushing him from behind as now Kukulon was not having anyone to help can't really make the move on Cage no he's caught no, he's him but he can't make the move no not at all and while back here Colin Zeno has gone around Ravnik Cower for six uh, as things have kind of just calmed down a little bit up uh, in the top 15 yeah, James Ellison we see back there from winner two weeks ago. It's uh, 26 is there. As can Kuklon, Kuklon just trying to look for what line he can use to get by Donovan Cage. Yeah, just trying to figure out the tie where I think they just can't race as aggressively as they did before. So that pit stop, if it happens, going to be interesting. We'll probably see and around lap 40. Will it happen? We're already past the halfway point, so I think they can yeah. make it from here. So who's going to be the first to bite? True. As uh, Zeno has still caught up to the 14, so despite all the tire wear issues that other guys are having, Zeno's still able to make some moves. Yeah, that's why he's the points leader. I think he's had one finish outside the top 20 this year, so they've been running pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think they're right. Well, maybe, yeah. He's got four top 10s, though, looking for number five. As Donovan Cage starting 10. to kind of pull out that gap a little bit, so we watch the battle for fourth as James Shelley closes in on the 70. And <laughs> right now, it, oh, you know what? I just realized this. Chevy, Ford, Toyota, Dodge. We're pretty cool. James. <laughs> all, all four makes in the top four. It's been 52 races since James Shelley's last win allowed in a couple seasons ago. It's been a... Uh, been about a, a little bit of a drought for James. As Colin Zeno makes the move on the 14, this is for fifth. As uh, Zeno just looks up there, he knows that Kuklon's in second, I'm sure. So trying to lower that points deficit or the points loss that he would have right now. Kuklon as well as oh yeah, it's a Zach Flinger, yeah. And I thought for a moment the 70 might have been pitting with the line that the three took, but not yet at least. No, it's going to make it interesting, too, when they start pitting. What what strategy do you use? I'm surprised they haven't pit yet. True. As Garrett Christian picked up to the high side, falls back to, it looks like, about the 16th spot. How about Ricky Freeman Jr. from 41st to 18th? Oh, we saw last week Lyle Austin, 42nd to 8th, and Baranowski, so that's not a detriment well, starting in Jesse the back. Well, we Savage but... also go from 41st to as high as 3rd before his engine issue. Yeah, so starting the back is not too much of a detriment. As Zeno closing in on the 70 of Kiara Miles, trying to find a way around the SRT Motorsports Dodge. Mm. Randy Kennedy trying to close in on the 09 as well. Fast paced race, too. We're only 15 minutes into the race, and that's uh, almost 12 to go. <laughs> as. Right now, Donovan Cage has a comfortable margin back to 26 and even more to the 94. Zeno again trying to use that outside line to get a run on the 70. Yeah, you got to be creative now with the um And the it's tires worked wearing. for him because here comes the three. Well, moves, got some contact there. Might have been as Kiara Miles gets uh, sent up out of the way by Colin Zeno. Here comes James Shelley as well. It is working out. Yeah, interesting. Let's see. Anybody... And nope, no pit stops. Cower's going to be able to follow through as well. Next lap. Next lap they're going to start pitting, I think. As Randy Kennedy also follows through. So now the 35 becomes the top running dodge. A little bit of pride there between the two SRT Motorsports teammates. Yeah. Uh, no pit stops yet. At least not I'm surprised. amongst our leaders. Anybody make it? Uh, and Hyatt has started to make some moves. He's now up to 36. And Lyle, Lyle Austin, Austin, 42nd. They're and you know what? They're not that far away from being lapped. They're off turn four, and Cage is now coming off turn four now. So. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Almost get lapped. About straight away away from being lapped. Meanwhile, Colin Zeno will be the first to pit. Yep, and but his thing can't anybody make it on fuel? Is that because of tires? Uh, also pitting the 79 of Kyler Anderson, the 51, Smart. 95, uh, the 31, 35, 63, 66, and the 5. And some people say, now, can you make it to the end? That's the thing. And Zach Flickinger to the lead. No, never mind. 26 pit, though. 
you know, who stays out the longest? I think someone can make it, maybe. I don't think they can. The two tires as well as the call up and down the pit lane. Here comes Donovan Cage, followed by Zach Flickinger. And I would be shocked if anyone else stays out this lap. Uh, maybe. Well, Mitchell Collins going to come in. No, Michael, these guys Michael. are going to be in a detriment. Michael Collins, not Mitchell. Damn it. As Zeno first off to pit lane from the first cycle of pit stops. Yep, and it's good they're doing it like this so we don't have anybody coming out and crashing. One would hope. Yes, yeah, seriously. And 94 five bonus lap. points to Zach Flickinger for leading lap while on pit lane. Well, that, that's going to help with the thing, that's for sure. Oh, mm -hmm. 71, making some moves. And trying to see... Uh, there's Kukulon, there was Oriel Pollard. Does anybody try to gamble for And a only? very long stop, I think, for Donovan Cage. Oh, that's a tough break for him. 28 yeah. seconds stop for the four. Did he hit, did he hit the commitment cone? I don't know, but he had a 28 second stop. Everyone else is in the eight seconds. Yeah, and I there's that's Zach Flickinger. A... Oh, <laughs> Kyle Anderson to lead. So it looks like it's Seb Kukulon leading by a country mile. The hell do you get that? Oh yeah. Three Over seconds three up on the 79. The three is now in third. Zach Flickinger is fourth. James Shelley fifth. Foster Henderson is sixth, <laughs> Oriel Pollard, Gustav Odenberg, Randy Kennedy, and Ravnik Cower is the top ten as they'll see five to go at the line this time by. And problems for Shoei Otani on pit lane. That's a tough break. Force, now it's down to two. Now nah, can they get to can they get to the twice? Did he do two seconds? How many tires did he take? I don't think he took any. Uh the twenty-six. Uh, trying to find it. 26 was also two tires. Yeah, they did. That was the greatest in and out I've ever seen. Down in two seconds, though. Well, but they're only gaining tenths of a second a lap. They need seconds almost. Foster Henderson. Henderson up, up to the back bumper of James Shelley. This is the battle for fifth. Oh, Foster, be careful, buddy. You want to get a good run in. They're going to need a caution, though, I think. They lose time and there, that's that it. That time they lost ground. Deb Kukulon going for its second career win. Third no, career win, no, excuse me. Second this season, third career win. As Henderson trying to make the move on the 14, looking for a spot inside the top five. Trying to make up ground on that race for the top 30. Colin Zeno, he wants second now with two to go. Yep. Trying to extend the points lead just by well, the slimmest margin. No, he's margins. not going to extend it though. The guy he's, who's trying to... Well, something Actually, 17's yeah, going off the road. Yeah, he would because Zach Flickin is behind him. Uh, that was the. Oh wait, uh, that was the 17 finally getting released. Yep. As, as the as white now. flag is out, one lap to go, and it's a three-second lead. Seb Kuklon could wow. coast back to the line. Make playing the Robert. points almost a full race back, and a big momentum boost for Seb Kuklon as he will win the DuPont 200. Talk about putting Robert Young to shame last year. This team was nothing. Well, the Blue Oval Racing was. Uh, well, actually, yeah, this was the trick that uh, Robert Young drew. Yeah. As Colin Zeno does get second, he will extend the points lead by a little bit. By and this also continues. Five points. Because the this 94 also is going to lead a lap, so... We also now have six Dover races, six different winners. We continue the trend. As the top 10 today, Seb Kukulon, Colin Zeno, Kyler Anderson, Zach Flickinger, Foster Henderson did get fifth. Randy Kennedy, Gustav Odenberg, James Shelley, Oreo Pollard, and Logan Williams, the top 10. Uh, Steven, your final thoughts on this one? Well, Seb Kukulon's pit crew was the geniuses, and that team is amazing. Colin Zeal ties his best career finish. Foster Henderson, a second and a fifth for that old truck here. Whoever buys that truck next year, I expect to win. Zach Flickinger, disappointing day considering he still continues the top five streak here, but it could have been more for him. Uh, look at Kyle, Wa Kurt Walker, good run for them, 21st. Breeding, 17th. Look at the bottom. Joshua Hyatt with the F of the biggest Fs I've ever seen Started in my life. Started first and finished 40th. 
Uh, Wallbridge, 29th. They were top 10 in points. That's going to be a killer. Uh, n- the trucks are off next week. Wait, n- no, wait. Let me see. It. I have this thing up here. I... Uh, no, yes, the trucks yeah. are off. The next time we'll be in the trucks, we're going to be at April, an SS race. So, you know what that means? The, another race that is wide open. Or Joshua, well, the five pitted again. Joshua I, Hyatt is... Um, I saw it p- click up. I was like, wait, what? Joshua Hyatt is either going to win or finish in the back. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm actually, and we got, I'm pretty sure that the five was a pit stop after the checkered somehow. I've never seen that happen in the game. Yeah, so we got one more race this weekend. No cups this week, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, so with that said, congrats to Seb Kukulon on the win. His second of the season should help boost him up from eighth in the points. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing-related content. Uh, leave a comment down below if you weren't watching, uh, if you didn't put a comment down in the Premier Chat, or... L- on Discord, let me know what you guys thought of the race or how you guys did. Uh, but for Stephen Paul III, I'm Gorn Fan 291, and this has been a production of the NRSL. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Somebody get the 06 a sponsor.